Next, we have a single replacement reaction here. We have an element will replace another element in the compound. On here, by the way, so a more active element may replace a less active element. So for example, here, A is much more reactive compared to B. So it will replace B on this compound over here. So the products here will be AC plus B. And then for that, just refer to this activity series guide over here. So this one, so the elements on top are more active compared to the elements below. Then on this case for the nonmetals, so this is more active compared to these elements over here. Now in most cases, a metal will replace a non sorry a metal, and also a nonmetal will replace a nonmetal, nonmetal. Except when, uh, on some cases, a metal may replace a nonmetal. When the nonmetal is either a carbon or a hydrogen, so as what you can see here, we have included the hydrogen on this activity series for our metals because again, a metal may sometimes replace a nonmetal. Pero again, uh, pero again, in most cases, a metal will replace a metal, a nonmetal to a nonmetal. So let's proceed to the second example first. We have here, this one is a metal. And on this compound, the metal is the aluminum. And again, if we check here, magnesium is over here. Then aluminum is over here. So we can see here that magnesium is much more active compared to the aluminum. So on this case, this magnesium will replace aluminum on the compound. So we here we have magnesium, then SO4 plus aluminum. Okay, so on this case, again, before partner sila AL, then SO4, per again, since much more active, see, MG, so it will, uh, it will replace aluminum on this compound. Then let's check the charge here because SO4, the charge for SO4 is uh, SO4, that is sulfate, that is negative 2, and then the charge of magnesium is positive 2. So this one is already neutral, so there's no need to add other numbers here. This one is the, these are the products of this reaction. Next we have Zn plus HCl. This one is a metal, and this one here both are nonmetals. But again, a metal may replace a nonmetal when that nonmetal is either a carbon or a hydrogen. And here we have a hydrogen. So in this case, uh, if we look on to the activity series also, we have zinc is over here, then we have hydrogen is over here. So zinc is much more active compared to the hydrogen. So here is zinc will replace hydrogen on this compound. So we have zinc chloride plus hydrogen. And again, there is no such thing as H because H is a uh, diatomic element. So we have H2. So next, let's check this one. We have Zn, Cl, Cl. Then again, check the charge Zn, that is uh, zinc, that is positive 2. Then for Cl, that is negative 1. So it's not neutral, obviously. So to make this one neutral, let's add here 2. To make this one negative 2, we have Zn, Cl2 plus H2. And then for the third one, we have aluminum plus sodium phosphate. Now let's check this one. So here Al is a metal and this one is also a metal. So th this might replace this sodium on the compound. But if we look here, aluminum is over here and then sodium is over here. So in this case, this one is less active compared to the sodium. So in this case, this one cannot replace the sodium on this compound because again, it is less active compared to the sodium in this compound. So in this case, there will be no reaction. Again, there will always there will only be reaction when a more active element will re, will replace a less active element in a compound. So that's for a metal replacement. Then here we have a halogen. So these are the elements on group seven A. So this one over here. This are the second to the last na column. So ang tawag silang grupo, we call them as halogen. Halogen. So these are nonmetals. Again, a nonmetal will replace a nonmetal. Nonmetal. 
So this one is a non-metal Cl, then this one is sodium bromide. So here, the non-metal is the Br. So again, if we look here, this Cl, it is much more reactive compared to the bromine. So in this case, this Cl will replace the Br on this compound. So we have NaCl plus Br. And again, pag Br, this one is also a diatomic element. So we have, N we have NaCl plus Br2. Next, we have F2 plus CC CCACl2. So here we have a fluorine. A fluorine. We have a fluorine. Then we have here a chlorine gas. So this one is much more active compared to this one. So this will replace the, uh, the Cl on this compound. So we have CAF plus plus a Cl, Cl2. Then here, let's check the CAF, the calcium fluoride, because calcium that is positive 2, then fluoride is, that's negative 1. So negative 1, positive 2, let's add here 2. We have CAF2 plus Cl2. Next, we have Br2 plus NaF. So here we have a bromine, then our fluorine. So if we look here, is this possible? Because here, uh, Br is over here. It is less active compared to the fluorine. So in this case, again, no reaction will occur because this Br is less reactive compared to the fluorine.